so basically this Lua, uh, I'm gonna show you, do, do I have it? So yeah, let me see if that's one, nope. So you can see the screen, yeah? Right. Okay, perfect. So the statistics currently, when we do uh, this WRK2, basically I just spent some time to see the difference, what WRK2 adding, what Gilten and what um, uh, Tilo was added. Yeah. So the difference was in the Lua part, which was multi-server AA, which this one, was from the Kimwalk, yeah, that was clear. And when trying to bring to Lua the JSON, uh, I think I can do here. Yeah, let me show you. So basically, that's the JSON Lua in the Latency, there is one thing is total count, which cannot be get uh, via law. We need to do some C code changes hmm. uh, for the request count. But the output we were getting already, uh, we have uh, is in JSON. And I was checking the 40 output, that's what I put here. Uh, basically, okay, wait, sorry, okay. So, basically, the main call is to confirm the format and the parity difference with um, is the 40 and WRK2, what we are getting. Shit, why? Wait, <laughs> <laughs> same. Single sign on issues are everywhere. So I just put some reference. This is still going the kind of related what. And then here, pretty much that's from the 40 of uh, response. And we can simulate the similar to percentile and value. Mm -hmm. And Actually, do we really need the decrease count at this point for this? Because in the I haven't seen in the fourth year that we are because it's two dimensional. Yeah, one is percentile and the one is value. Which, if you move to WRK two, it's going to be similar, something like that. We can just in JSON. Uh, let me replay that back. And that, in part, you're saying, hey, if we wanted to get, was it total request count? That would, that would take a C code change? Yeah, so basically, the, right now, that's, for example, uh, okay, let me do like that. All right. So basically, you see here now, okay, uh, that is a table coming, okay? And in order, right now we are taking from this table, this percentile and the value, mm -hmm. the, this uh, the latency, but we can also take the total count. To take this total count and put in JSON in Lua script, we need some changes in C code. That's what I was discussing yesterday with Tyler, Tilo. Okay. So that yeah, that's uh, basically I can show you quickly what we discussed yesterday. That's I was asking him some question, and so he was pointing that currently it's this uh, law we can't get the total decrease. But my question is, do we really need it? Because in forty I haven't seen that the latency, percentile, and total count correlation. Are we getting this via Fortio right now? Um, yeah, I'm let's go the other way around. Okay. With the, so if you look at uh, here, if you're asking for a count, mm -hmm. um, there's this duration histogram section. 
um, you know, in I'm I'm actually looking at the data you shared, like you know, in the uh, document, the load generation mm -hmm. integration. Mm -hmm. Now there, if you actually scroll down in the first mm -hmm. few blocks, you'll actually see a duration histogram, and then there is a count, and then there is a min, yeah. max, some yeah. average. Yeah, so that's sort of like you know where yeah, I think like you know, that's kind of like you know, where the value is used looks like. And the rest is all like standard deviation, or, you know, so which means you know it's all percentiles, like you know, like it's like that's what we're seeing here. Yeah, that's we, we have we, we can get this uh, std dev some max minimum. Let me see if in this output, but uh, like you, you see minimum std, you can get this. Uh, we can change the naming to be exactly the same. Uh, but yeah, hold on, something is. Something is. I just uh, something is off. Like I mean, your data is 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 this? I, I don't think that this is complete. It complete. Uh, this probably know. is not complete. So the duration histogram is one huge block, and the other one is a percentiles. The percentiles is actually small. You now the duration histogram contains a start, stop, start, end, start, end. You know, so it actually contains all those time sequences. I mean, again, like now that's again historical, so I don't yeah. know like, if we can compute that. For this one, you mean? Yeah, like you know, you see this part here is, is kind of what I'm referring to, the data yeah. part. Yeah, that's the one I got from the 40 as a reference, and I was checking from uh, from GUI too, but yeah, that's wanted to confirm. Oh. So that's a start, and uh, it's when the you start the performance testing and then when you end it, yeah, it's not per request starting. Yeah. Um, right. You know what? You know, let's let's just let's just take a look at photo. You know, I don't have something running or but we can go to photo or uh, can I actually get I think, that? I you can share if you want. Sure. Yeah. I can. Sure. No, no, just give me a second. Like, you know, I need to actually find the best part. Let me go sharing. Okay, let's Yesterday I was learning some law scripting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was um, nice. Yeah, that... yeah, sounds like it's possible you might um, dip your toe into C as well. Yeah, that uh, seemed like uh, this law pretty much. Uh, I went all the, then there is a debug, for example, you can print the request response, but that's not exactly what we need. But yeah, we can try to bring that in our life. We, we can basically customize all this and uh, when I like some of the requests, errors, time out, oh, you don't see my screen, sorry. Did I share? Um, not yet. Um, no, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, no. Oh, uh, okay. We, uh, I'm, I was finally on sharing, like, you know, but whenever you guys are done, I can maybe quickly okay, grab the screen for something. Yeah, you can just go. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Can, you, can, you just, can you guys see our screen? Yeah. Yep. Okay, are you seeing the JSON data? Yeah. So here's a sample, like, you know, I'm kind of borrowing it from, from Oreo Studio. Oh, so you can see all the labels, uh, start time, etc. Like you know, we can actually manipulate these, uh, the request duration, etc. Just give me a second. Yeah, so request duration, actual. Now, oh, now from here on, like you know, so the actual QPS uh, number of threads versions. I think like you know, probably I, I presume WRT2 is giving us this data. Uh, the remaining is actually this yeah. uh, duration histogram part. Like you know, and in this histogram part, you can see there's a start end, the percentage value, and a count. So this was, this was, I mean, like, you know, this was closest to the data points I was referring to before. So there is a percent, there is a count. Now this is kind of like, you know, what uh, Ford IO is actually using to chart this data. So there are two parts to this, like, you know, one is accumulator graph and the other one is like the histogram. So, but the data for both are actually coming from here. So these are the data points. Percentiles are not the data points. The percentiles are just used for printing here at the top. You know, you, you see oh, this line here. Yeah, yeah, you see this line P50. Yeah, you don't see the 50 P90 here on the chart, right? 
mean, what you're seeing on the chart is actually the data points. You can correlate it like 40, 50, 60. I don't know, you should be able to find them here. Yeah. So, so that's like the, the percentage, like you know, percentage, percentage, percentage. Yeah. So that, that's kind of like, what it is. You see the point? Like, you know, this is what this is the data points that I was working to. It's not the total count uh, against total count against the value, the percentile value. Yeah, yeah, right here. So one is actually the uh, I think if, if I understand this correctly, you know, one is actually this charge value, and at mm -hmm. the same time the histograms value. I think it's a combination of the two. So um, mm. now this is literally not used to draw the chart. But you know there is a you know so there is a JavaScript function which actually takes this chart data, parses it out, and creates data that is rendered on chart. But pretty much the main attraction here for drawing the chart is my understanding this data here, this whole thing. So you can see like that many data points there. Like you know, so the rest is all like min max, etc. Like you know some metadata. But this is kind of the point like, you know which I was referring to as the data points. You see the point? So it actually the main we need the data that part for this chart, yeah. Right. Okay. So then we can do the I will play with it and do maybe PR for because I asked him if we should do against his, but he mentioned to do against the uh, the what was what was the uh, the, no, not Tilo, the Gilten, Gilten, against, he, he, yeah, just for the total count, but there is no start end date, it should be manually start getting time stamped for it, is it, start end date, is it used also at least in the graph? Or do we? Um, no, the the chart is actually a summary, so it's, it's just a summarization. So it doesn't it doesn't like I said it doesn't literally use the data. It actually converts it to you know uh, a, a summarized data, and then that's what's used to be charting here. You see the point? I'm, yeah, just I'm a bit in this case that uh, can we confuse that. It's three dimensional, yeah? That's, uh, okay, I will share my screen. Yeah. That's what you said. So here. <coughs> okay, now start and we, we don't take these two, yeah? It mainly, uh, it's percent and count correlation between. Um, yes, but hold on. Just give me a okay. second. Because here, if we do the debug, let me see if you're getting that. Hmm. So if we do the in the debug mode, we are getting a response. Is there a date Wednesday GMT? But it's not the millisecond timing. Giving. Yeah. You may get the timing and maybe add that one. Because, yeah, that's what I was saying. We can get some uh, statistics like that. If you want. But. So, I guess, um, Garish, what you're saying is no, the start and stop time for the test isn't used in the graphs that we showed today. 
That's correct. Yeah, it's 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 actually computed. Um, what is actually shown is like you know, so based on the total, I mean, like you know, so so they have this ninety nine percent all time, like you know, which is in milliseconds, and, and the chart is against it. Right. So it's, it's not like a literal time. Uh, yeah. I, I think it's more yeah. duration. I think. Yeah, that's kind of fifty percent. Tile and then the value of it, what's the value, and then total number of requests. That's the three things which we may use. Because the, the rest could be like, you know, the key names and stuff that can be adjusted from one script. Once similar way, we can get the total count, but we need yeah, that's a bit. Yeah. So um, be between the two output formats, what are we identifying as being missing from WRK2? The total request count? Yeah, per percentile. So if you see here, there is a table. Like, Okay, hmm. yeah, I, oh, I got it. Yeah, actually, I do see what you're saying about on a yeah. per, per request basis uh, for the, the histogram data, there's a so yeah, because in order to do to bring it to uh, to JSON, it, it's giving the output, but it's coming from a C. It's not through. We, we cannot pull this data, put in JSON via Lua. It's, but once we make changes, we can get uh, these. And then I asked also, till about, do you guys know about one to one percentile? I'm not sure if. That's a thing we need because I asked him. He also, I guess he didn't apply. He he wasn't. I'm not, I guess, I'm not sure. Sorry, Gr Gr Grish, do you know? And there was other stuff I asked him. He said it's not implemented yet here. If you see like uncorrected latency statistics, batch latency, all this. Uh, but there is like the quest date uh, and RPS that we're going to pass as argument. WQT. Yeah, pretty, pretty much we now in a better state to hand, handcraft it a bit the way we need. Yeah, yeah the, the, the rate that's computed for Ford IO computes that as well, correct? The, which would be the total throughput. Yeah, total. Yes. Um, so I guess I'll just reiterate. It sounds like, <clears throat> are we in fact saying we've got, is it one piece of data or two? We're, we're missing total request count for WRK output. Two. Yeah. And we're also missing um, the count per histogram data point. No, it's total request count. It's per histo uh, per histogram point. We have the total number of requests. Oh, I see. Okay, got it. Okay, yep, makes sense. Yeah. Makes yeah. sense. Makes sense. It's, it's here. You see, like yeah, it's it starts and it, it keeps increasing. Okay. At this point of time, and yeah, that's and then we have total certain certain requests. So good. This 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 is good progress. Um, not only did you do the something of a Kind of the initial POC you got with Tilo, um, we've identified the missing piece of data. Grish, of what you're seeing, it looks like the JSON formatted output here. It sounds like it looks like it, it, that's the. <clears throat> um, you can validate that that's probably the only thing that we're missing is a, uh, a per histogram computation request count such that we can show in the UI how many requests fell into that bucket. And I, I felt actually mo most of the stuff for TO guys did, they also, I think they, most of the things I see, it's a kind of uh, taken from the WRK2. That also, I had a feeling. Sure. That's, uh, so that's, that, there are some similarities there too. Yes. That they are using. Yes. 
So of the, yeah, of the place that of the C that you might need to modify, um, have you um, looked at that much? What what does that look like? So no, it was like uh, already like four or five that you are talking. Uh, yeah, well. I, I just spent quite enough time to do it with Lua, and I was thinking to better understand. But then I saw, okay, that's uh, kind of <laughs> yeah. He, he hit the rock, and then I contacted him. He confirmed, and then he said, "Hey, yeah, then probably you can do this way." And yeah, I will. I haven't tried, but to play this C part, I just was mainly focused on Lua. Yeah, seems like so, that that count would be. Um, at your fingertips, or like you know, not not too difficult to, uh, rather um, not a hard computation to do, and and the data is right there. But yeah, the, g g identifying which uh, which area in WRK two to modify might be take a little bit. If you are considering um, contributing this to guild teams, mm -hmm. WRK two, it could be. I mean, you could. As you look for that, you could also open up a, an issue or a PR and ask him where it is. Yes. So basically, uh, I guess Tilo said it's, it could be nice, but uh, I haven't contacted with Gilton and maybe just to confirm with him if it's a good idea and then otherwise, yeah, we may need to do our own fork or maybe to push the Tilo one and then just pull from there. Sure, yeah, it, it would seem to me that, like I think the most likely outcome considering the time is of the essence is mm -hmm. that you'd probably start from Tilo's fork. Mm -hmm. You would um, simultaneously reach out to Gilteen um, asking if you'd like for this contribution, asking you know for instruction as to where to go augment the code and mm -hmm. then at the same time create a fork um, and begin attempting it in that fork and then that way yeah later if he wants it merged great if he doesn't okay. you know yep. fine sure yeah i will spend some time and then should be good and and once compile it and then test it and yeah so basically, then uh, we are good. We don't need start end. Just percentile count and value should be good to go. And I will put mainly inside the data like that. Grish, any comments? Oh, sorry. Just give me a sec. Machine was frozen for a second. Oh, yeah. Cool. Uh, can so, you repeat that, Asako? Sorry. Yeah, sure. I, I will put inside the, the data. Like yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, if, if you can extract count. that, if, yeah, absolutely. Person. That'll be that'll be a great thing. Count yeah, value. But there is no value. What should um, be the key so, for me? No, the the value is. I mean, like, so there are two values. So if he's saying for this start and end, mm -hmm. that's the percentage and that's the count. So it's like two things, like for the same start end period. Oh, there, there is no percentile. Each person time. Oh, it's just the value. Oh, I'm not quite sure again. I think well, so. What percentile is like uh, similar to this guy, like uh, the. Right. Hold on. Now, what 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 is it in that bottom section then? Percentiles. The percentiles have have value. Yeah, I think if, if you scroll down, like you know, you will see in the percentile section there is a value. Are you are you referring to the percentiles here? Yeah, yeah. Are you referring to that? Because oh, the percentiles, the percentiles. Oh, that's percentiles yeah, here. Yeah. Exactly, and the values yeah. here. Okay, I yeah. see. Yeah. Sure. Uh, the one above is actually, I think, like a cumulative percentage. You can see the percentage being pulled up. Can can you scroll to the top? Yeah, I see. You can see started. You know the percentage is very low. 
and then it actually starts building up, building up, building up, and then it actually goes up until like hundred percent. So that's like yeah. the total percentage, just a cumulative percentage of requests. Yeah, I need to a bit check time, and let, let me check this, and I will slack you for this. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah, I mean, it, this will be an interesting thing to actually you know, talk more upon. Like, I mean. Uh, I mean, honestly, like, I, I don't have like the best of understanding here as well, yeah. which is actually the reason why like, you know, we actually leverage the 4.io's JavaScript library to actually help with charting. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it, it'll, be, it'll be good for us to kind of like, you know, pick each other's brains and see if we can actually you know, make some good value. Yeah, I think the whole understanding kind of be, uh, kind of is must in this case. I've just spent some time and put in the description and ask the already tailored stuff. And put all together in the document, and awesome. then jump to implementation. That sounds good. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, I get, yeah, yeah. Th thank you so much, uh, Lee Grish. So yeah. I will update you once. You're okay. off to the races, man. This is yeah. great. Yeah. yeah, this is great. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, guys. Okay, Take good care. deal. Yeah, talk to you yeah. soon, Sako. Talk to you guys. Okay.